Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then let me tell you that I am Shrestha. Hi, and this is my YouTube channel. If you love watching YouTube videos over makeup and skincare related stuffs and anything on beauty, then you are in the right place. So, as the title suggests, for today's video, I am going to talk about five things to do to get flawless makeup application. First off, let me tell you that I am nowhere a pro makeup artist or nowhere I am saying that I know everything but these are the 5 things that I have seen in my own life where I have done or started doing after getting to know about it and that made a huge difference in my makeup routine. Like I used to do something and when I stopped it or maybe when I have added something or maybe when I knew that I should do but out of laziness I never did but when I finally did it I understood that it was a crucial step and it makes a whole lot of a difference so these five things are what I have experienced in my own life and they made a lot of difference in my life in my makeup routine and I think that they will surely make a difference in your life and you should give these five things a try if you're already not doing it because trust me they will make a difference so I want to share with you five things to get flawless makeup application so for number one it is a very crucial step and I cannot stress enough on this step that is moisturizing before makeup well people like me people with oily skin type think that they don't need moisturizer because their face is already oily or they are scared of applying moisturizer because that will make their skin a little more oily but trust me guys if you, even if you are from the oiliest skin type you need moisturizer let me tell you one thing what i have read in articles and even a lot of dermatologists and cosmetologists told in different interviews even my own dermatologist told me that when people tend to skip moisturizer because they have oils in on their face they are actually kicking the skin to produce a lot more sebum our skin needs hydration to a certain level and if we don't hydrate them what our skin do they produces a lot more sebum to hydrate itself and which makes our skin oily so once you start using a good moisturizer a good oil free moisturizer a gel based moisturizer maybe then you will see that your sebum is getting control then your skin is not producing that much oil but if you're skipping moisturizer totally then your skin is getting much oilier well if you haven't tried using moisturizer because your skin is oily then try a good moisturizer use it and then you will see the difference trust me even i was scared even i never wanted to use a moisturizer and i used to feel i have so much oil why do i need to use a moisturizer no our skin needs hydration and oils do not give that hydration although the skin produces sebum the oils to get it hydrated but what it actually does is it makes our upper layer of the skin the outer surface of the skin oily but when you actually hydrate your skin nicely when you nourish your skin day and night and your skin is well nourished and healthy they do not produce so much of sebum so do use moisturizer and before makeup i'm telling you because first it makes your skin looks a little more glossy it does not make oily if you're using a perfect moisturizer for your skin type then it will never make your skin oily and if you want some suggestions for moisturizer for oily skin type then you should go and check out my description box i have linked my skincare video where i've talked about a lot of skincare products for oily skin type so you should check that out and also follow me on instagram because i keep on posting about skincare stuffs even makeup stuffs throughout the week which are good for your skin which are good for oily skin especially because i have an oily skin type so coming back it does give some shine some glossiness to your skin it makes the makeup application very easy and makeup glides on your face nicely also the makeup does not reach your face directly so if a makeup product contains a little too much of chemicals harsh chemicals then your skin is protected and the final thing that i want to tell you is using a moisturizer before your makeup helps your makeup stay on your skin because as i told you that it does hydrate your skin which makes your 
your skin produce less sebum so your makeup lasts longer so please 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 use a moisturizer before your makeup and also before using a moisturizer don't pick up any moisturizer that you see on advertisement or if any celebrity is talking about it or anything try to find the best moisturizer for yourself there are a lot of different options available in Indian market right now they are affordable you don't have to spend a huge amount of bucks on a moisturizer there are a lot 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 affordable product available on Indian market so please choose the right moisturizer so yeah this point leads me to the second point of this video the second thing that you should do to get a flawless makeup is following a good skincare routine it's not only a moisturizer guys you need to follow a good skincare routine I won't tell you to follow a vast a big skincare routine at least for those who have just turned 16 or 17 but if you have touched 20 at least please start using a skincare routine nothing much use a cleanser use a face wash use a good face wash then use a toner and then use a moisturizer that's it follow these three steps day and night before you go out of your house and before you go to sleep follow these three steps at least for one month and then you will see the difference trust me even i was very lazy and even i was skeptical like should i use this should i use that is it for me is it for my age or anything like that but trust me there are that environment the climate the atmosphere everything has changed and we need to protect our skin and we need to keep it healthy we do not live in that era where we are having desi ghee always or we are having pure milk to drink every day. Everything is mixed with some preservatives or some chemicals or anything. We are not getting the purest form of everything right now. And in our daily life, in our busy life, we cannot maintain a healthy diet always. Like if we have college, school or tuition classes or office or if you're a busy mom you might be working outside and in the same time you have to look after your family your kids then you are not getting enough time to pamper yourself to eat healthy to live a healthy lifestyle try to maintain a healthy lifestyle i will always say that but even with that you have to take care of your skin if you're going out without a sunscreen Please, you are committing a sin, you guys. I am telling you, you are committing a sin. If you are not using a sunscreen until now, then I don't know, like, I, I don't know what you are doing. Like, you have to use a sunscreen. And the skincare routine that I am talking about are only of three steps. Cleansing, toning and moisturizing. Use a healthy CTM routine to keep your skin nourished and keep it problem free because the pollution outside the amount of smoke and dust we are inhaling every time we are going out the amount of dirt and dust and oils that stick to our face every day when we are going out there it causes a lot of harm to skin so you need to take care of your skin because if you don't take care of your skin then trust me no matter how pricey your foundation is or how uh, expensive your primer or blush or highlighter is it won't look good it won't sit on your skin your skin will not look healthy it might cover up the blemishes or it might cover up the dark spots but but your skin it is not nourished it is not healthy it will speak on yourself and once you get hold of a good skincare routine and once you see the difference after using for a certain period of time trust me guys it happened to me you will tend to use it more and more you will not live without using your skincare daily that will become a part of your life and when that happens you will actually be able to see the difference and slowly slowly you can increase the steps in your skincare routine but if you are just starting off but or if you're thinking of starting right now then just use a good cleanser use a good toner and use a good moisturizer that's it and if you're going out in the daytime then after these three steps just use a sunscreen that's it guys you don't need anything else trust me but try to get hold of a good skincare routine slowly slowly develop your habit that will help you in keeping your skin nourished and healthy a lot more than what your skin right now is so please 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 get hold of a good skincare routine next step is a very crucial step especially when you are actually sitting for doing your makeup that is washing your face or cleansing your face before applying makeup yes so what i mean to say by this is when you're sitting for doing makeup 
then your face should be non sticky non oily non greasy it should not have any dust particle or any dirt germs or anything for example if you are out for your college or for your office and you need to attend a party in the evening so right after you come back you cannot just sit for your makeup you have to wash your face you have to cleanse your face you have to get that pollution that dirt that oil that grease everything out of your face before you start the makeup because if you do not clean your face because before applying the makeup then the oil the dirt the d dust everything combines with your makeup and it does not look flawless your makeup does not sit on your skin it wears off there are you know you will see that if your skin is too oily the makeup does not stick to your skin the foundation fades or it sometimes it cracks or it sometimes you know even disappears after putting your hand like this but if your face is clean and it is oil free and non greasy and also do not have dirt then it will sit on your face even the primer will sit on your pores and will fill up your pores also if you don't wash your face before applying makeup what it will do is when the makeup and the dirt and the oil will combine together it will fill up your pores and that will cause you acne or pimples and blemishes like sometimes i see people saying even it happened to me that i got i got a lot of blemishes or acne on my face after using makeup but that is not the fault of the makeup always i'm telling you always but sometimes it may but maximum of the time it is seen that we have applied makeup on our face without washing our face without making our face oil free or grease free wash your face even with plain water will do you don't have to use a face wash always just splash some plain water and then towel dry your face then use a lightweight moisturizer preferably an aloe vera gel if you belong from the oily skin type or there are a lot of other moisturizers which you love and then start off with your makeup then apply the primer and foundation and so on you will see the difference instantly just do it and try it one time because you know sometimes when we are in a hurry we forget to wash our face before applying makeup but that is what we have to take care of that is what we should not do because when our face is clean and non oily non greasy then the makeup sits nicely and it stays on your skin for the longest of time and the look is flawless the application is flawless it gets flawless because there is no oil or dirt to move the makeup so yeah that will bring me to point number 4 the fourth thing that i want to talk about to get a flawless makeup application is using a primer well before i'll tell you what primer does i want to mention one thing that if you belong from the normal skin type if you are blessed with normal skin if your skin is not too oily if your skin does not have a lot of pores or fine lines if your skin does not need any extra product to make the makeup stay on your face if your skin catches the makeup right after application and makes it stay for the whole day if after you apply the makeup it does not wear off it does not come out it sits on your skin very nicely throughout the day then you don't need a primer but people like us who have oily skin who have a lot of pores who have fine lines on whose face makeup does not stay on whose face the makeup wears off immediately or maybe after some time we need primer so sometimes you people must have seen that there are days when we apply the makeup but it is not sticking to our face it is coming out and or or maybe it has settled in our pores and it gives a look that as if that i have white freckles trust me that is not a cute look yes if you have normal freckles they are very cute but when makeup settles in your pores it is not at all a cute look so for that we need primer you again i am telling you you have to choose your primer according to your problem you cannot use any primer that you get on the market or you cannot just choose a primer on the basis of with celebrity advertising about it or you're going to choose a primer on how costly that primer is you have to choose your primer according to your problem if you have problematic pores if you have large pores and your skin is non oily then you don't need a matte primer you just need a primer which is pore filling which will fill up your pores and does not cause any other problem on your face while you're applying makeup If you do not have a lot of problems on your pore areas like I do not have a lot of open or large pores but I have a problem of oily skin 
so I have to mattify my skin. So I use mattifying primer. Then if your skin is a little dull, if your skin is needs a little glow from within, if your skin is a healthy glow from within, then you might use primer which will give a healthy glow to your face, which will not keep your skin dull, which will not make your skin too dry, which will moisturize your nourish your skin a little more than what your moisturizer does. So you have to choose your primer. But if you don't use the primer and if you have some problematic skin, if you really do have some problematic skin, if you have normal skin, then I'm again repeating, you are blessed, you are God's favorite. But if you have got problem, then don't complain about the makeup that it is not sitting. It's about the primer that you are not using. Once you start using the primer before applying your foundation, you will see the difference and then you will know why I'm stressing so much on usage of primer. If you don't need a primer, if your makeup application is as it is flawless without a primer, dude, you are blessed as I told you. But if you have problematic areas on your skin, maybe your skin is two types of primer. You have pores also and you, have, you need to mattify your skin. So you need to mattify your T-zone but you have to use a pore filling primer right over here. So understand your skin, choose the right products, choose the right primer and then you will see how flawless your makeup application can get. And for the last point, the fifth point of this video that I want to talk about to get a flawless makeup application is exfoliating. Yes guys, exfoliating or scrubbing as you may say is one of the very controversial steps because People with a lot of acne or even like me where I keep on getting acne do not feel to use exfoliators freely because if there are dead acne or if there are no active acne but there are little small pimples or blemishes scrubbing might accelerate them and cause big blemishes or acne but trust me guys after a lot of trial and error method I came to this conclusion that if you use the right exfoliator then it does not only do the work of scrubbing or exfoliating it also helps in reducing the acne like trust me when you are using a exfoliator what it does is it takes away all the dead skins it takes away all the dead cells or all the unwanted layers or which are there on your skin and brings out the most fresh skin out of everything it takes away all the dirt all the germs which are settled in our pores which only cleansing or face wash couldn't take off it takes away the dead skins which are not useful which you do not need to be there on your skin and it makes the skin fresh and it makes your skin problem free so that the makeup stays on your skin or even apply on your skin nicely and flawlessly like for example on a paper if you have sands or maybe some oil or maybe some dust or anything else then you cannot draw or paint on that paper because it is full of coarse things but once you remove them when you scrub away the oils the dirt then you can paint flawlessly on this paper right so that is what it does to our skin that is what exfoliators does to our skin and if you are into a profession or if you are doing makeup every day then i won't recommend you that you exfoliate your skin every day before makeup but you can exfoliate your skin twice a week or even if you feel the need then you can do it thrice and if you don't do makeup on a regular basis but there are parties you attend there like the wedding season is coming you need to put on makeup for anything else occasionally then i would recommend you that before sitting for applying the makeup when you are going to wash your face even before moisturizing exfoliate your skin come back use a toner, use a moisturizer, then start off with your makeup routine. Trust me, this makes a vast difference. Like I have seen, like I never believed in doing this. When I heard it for the first time, I was very skeptical and I was very scared that exfoliating my skin, my acne will be charged and they will become active even if they are not right now. But when I actually got hands on the perfect exfoliator for my skin trust me it changed my world changed my life it changed my makeup routine it changed my makeup application like trust me guys you need to get hold of a good exfoliator all the exfoliators you see on the market might not work for you but there will be one exfoliator i promise you that will work for you and that will work wonder for you if our face have oils and 
dirt and pollution sticking onto our face then the makeup application will not be flawless at all so you need to exfoliate i am not going to tell you that you exfoliate every day if you are into makeup throughout the week but you can do it at least twice a week and if you are doing it occasionally then i would recommend you that before you are sitting for your makeup application go and exfoliate your face come back use a toner use a good moisturizer and then start with your makeup application so yes please try to follow these steps please try to follow these five things in your life and also comment down below if you are already doing them or if you have some other suggestions to give i would love to know them i would love to see them so yeah those were the five things that i wanted to share with you to get flawless makeup application these are what i have come across in my life and i have experienced in my life and i've seen the change and i've seen the difference with the time when I don't used to do this thing so I have seen the difference and I have experienced the difference and that is why I wanted to share so I hope you like this video I hope you enjoyed this video and also I hope that this video was helpful to you and if you really liked and enjoyed it, then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel also for more makeup and skincare related stuff so do follow me on Instagram if you are already not following me check out my description box below I have provided my account details there and you can follow me on Instagram and join my makeup and skincare party because I I'll post a lot of makeup and skincare related stuffs throughout the week on Instagram. So I hope to see you there. And that is being said, I'm going to leave this video right over here. And I promise to see you on my next video. Bye.